Whether you're celebrating Easter over Zoom because of illness, pandemics, or maybe you just don't wanna see your relatives, or you're able to celebrate it with the people that you love, here's some tips on how to make your Easter a little cleaner. For us, Easter is a sacred holiday, but we also wanna have fun celebrating it too and forming those traditions and memories with our families. Like with my family growing up, we usually went to church and then we went to grandma's house and did Easter egg basket hunts inside. And then we would go to my dad's side of the family to grandma and grandpa's and we would do like a big Easter egg hunt and you participated in that Easter egg hunt until you had children to replace you. Easter baskets and Easter egg hunts are a big part of Easter family traditions. So whether you wanna leave it up to the Easter Bunny to bring your stuff for you or you wanna have fun making your own baskets and egg hunts, here's a way to make them a little more eco-friendly. I do have some links in the description below if you do wanna purchase any of the things I'm talking about. I haven't used most of them because I already have the things that I need for like years and years of Easter's to come, but they are options for you. And if you do go ahead and click through those and purchase them, I may earn a small commission and that's at no extra cost to you, but I really do appreciate it because it helps the channel out and helps me help you guys live a greener life. All right, Easter outfits. I know you guys want your kids to look like so cute for Easter, but just think about purchasing something from a thrift store or looking online first for something used before buying a brand new Easter outfit that they're maybe only gonna wear like once or twice and then they'll grow out of it in two seconds anyways because they're little. So think about going to consignment shops or thrift stores to look for those Easter outfits first for your kids. Or just let them wear normal clothes and maybe like pastel it up a little bit or get some like floral crowns and some accessories to make it look a little more Easter-y. Remember in my waste management hierarchy video where we learned that reusing is really, really important? Go ahead and reuse your same Easter basket every year if you have one. My family's had the same group of Easter baskets for like the last 30 some years, so you can totally reuse them. And kids, make sure you give back your parents your Easter basket so they can ensure that the Easter Bunny gets it for next year. If you're in need of a basket, see if anyone in your community has one first or go to a thrift store or look online or put out an ISO that you're in search of an Easter basket. I bet you'll find someone that has a few extras laying around. You also don't have to use a basket. There's no rules that say you have to have a basket for your Easter basket. You could use a used gift bag that you have or a watering can, a sand pail, a little wagon, a planter, any of those things work. If you're looking at actual baskets, buy one that's made out of like a wicker or a jute or some sort of material that's natural. You can also look for fair trade made baskets too. And if your kid has to have like a themed out basket, Pokemon or PJ Masks Easter basket or something, you could just use a regular basket and theme it out with stickers or the colors. For Easter grass, you might want something that fills up the basket and makes it look nice. If you have plastic Easter grass, you can go ahead and use that and just reuse it from year to year. Again, my mom has plastic Easter grass. It's like 30 years old. But if you're worried about it blowing away because it's a windy day out, then probably skip it and maybe just use it if you're doing indoor basket hunts. And there's lots of other things you can use for basket fillers. Any strips of material or fabric that aren't good for rags, or you could use newspaper or just regular paper, tissue paper. If you have a lot of artwork that your kids make that you don't save, not if you save it, but if you don't save your kids' artwork, like the brightly colored construction paper with paint all over it that's not good for recycling anyways, you could shred that up and put it in there. As long as there's no hard feelings about it, take a picture of it first and make sure your kid's not gonna freak out over that. If you are gonna buy paper grasses filler, like the tiny crinkly kind is a good one, look for 100% recycled paper. And then also remember our rules of recycling. You can't really recycle anything smaller than a post-it note. So that's not gonna go in your recycling. It can go in your compost pile or you can reuse it for next year. If you really plan ahead, you can grow like real grass in a basket, but that's gonna take a couple weeks of planning and just make sure you're using a liner that's not gonna have it leak all over the place. I did buy this edible grass for the first time. It's strawberry flavored. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. It does come in a plastic bag, so there is that, but I just kind of wanted to try it. So I'm gonna see what that tastes like. It tastes like nothing or paper, but with like a, a hint of strawberry. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't like, <laughs> it doesn't like taste great, but doesn't taste bad either. It does taste like strawberries, so 
that's another one that, that you can use. There's lots of alternatives to the plastic eggs now if you're looking for something new. If you have plastic eggs, use those because we want to get the most use out of them as possible. Just make sure if you're hiding eggs that you count how many you put out so you make sure you get all of them back. There's also wooden or cardboard eggs that you can buy now and some of them you can like decorate too. I haven't used any of them because I already have the plastic eggs. If you are choosing to use real eggs, make sure you buy them from a local source that lets their hens have a little bit of room to roam. Try looking at your local farmers markets. And whichever way you decide to use your eggs, whether you hard boil them or you blow them out, make sure you have recipes that you can use those eggs for instead of just chucking them into the compost. So plan some meals around it, make some Easter omelets or like an Easter cake. When you go to dye them, try using natural dyes or use different foods from around your kitchen like red onions, spinach, spices, berries, Anything that might be colorful, you can try and dye your eggs with those. And then also plan your meals around those foods so that you're not wasting like just a whole bunch of food. What goodies you put in your basket is totally up to you. I mean, I'm gonna put toys in my kids' baskets because that's what they like. And you don't have to, but also think about if you can buy them used or maybe do like a book exchange with the neighbors. Give them things that they need anyways. Sunglasses, sun hats, underpants with characters on them. Just do whatever your kids like. Like my kid likes croutons, so I'm gonna put croutons in her eggs this year and see what she thinks about that. Um, you could also do adult Easter egg hunts too. Like go find your beer or each couple gets to find a bottle of champagne and then you get mimosas afterwards. So whatever you wanna do. You could also do it for your dogs too if you're a doggy parent. I would caution against using plastic eggs if you think your dog might chew through it, but otherwise find some really good smelling stinky treats that they like and hide them around. You can easily train your dog to go find the treats. We used to do that with our little Papillon that I grew up with and we would put her in another room, hide treats all over, and then we would go find it Lacey and she'd go and run all over and find the treats and then we'd go all gone when they were all found. That way she wasn't constantly looking for them. So that's a really fun game for your dog if you're a doggy parent. And one last thing, speaking of pets, please don't buy your family a surprise bunny for Easter unless you have researched it a lot, you guys have been discussing it ahead of time, and you found a veterinarian to take care of that rabbit. Rabbits can make good pets, but they require a lot of room and training and attention. And I've known a lot of sassy rabbits in the past working with them. So just make sure you know what you're getting into. If you are thinking about getting a rabbit, consider waiting till after Easter and adopting one that was surrendered because the owner didn't know what they were getting into or they wanted a little bunny, not a big rabbit and weren't prepared to have a full size adult rabbit. So that's just something to take into consideration. Those are some of my Easter tips. I wanna know what you guys like to put in your Easter baskets and your eggs. Thanks for watching. If you wanna hear more sustainable tips, click the subscribe button and the bell.